بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم اللہ مصلی علی محمد ولال محمد کما صلی تعالیٰ ابراہیم ولال ابراہیم کا حمید مجید اللہ مبارک علی محمد ولال محمد کما بارک تعالیٰ ابراہیم ولال ابراہیم ان کا حمید مجید وی کنٹینیو دی درس از ان دا منتھ آف رمضان اٹ از پریویسلی بن منشن دیٹ are different compilations of the traditions and they're called Siha Sitta and, and others as well. Uh, and a selection from these is presented in every uh, dars. The first dars that Imam Sab wish, wishes to present today is from a book uh, of the six authentic books of traditions called Ibn Majah. And Hazrat Ali bin Talib is the narrator and he says that the Holy Prophet وسلم, defined faith in the following words. Uh, the, uh, Imam Sabi is saying that the definition of faith is in the Holy Quran and in the traditions. And one of, one of um, such traditions is uh, presented here and the translation is that the Holy Prophet وسلم, mentioned Uh, faith and said that faith is that one should recognize Allah from the heart and one should express this uh, from the tongue and one should act in accordance with Allah's commandments. And just as Imam Sif saying that uh, he had uh, mentioned in a trad- in others, the Holy Prophet Wasallam said that Allah has given me Jawami ul Kalim, which means such. Uh, the ability, the capacity to speak such words as have huge meanings. And this uh, tradition is an, an, another example of that. That is, what is the definition of faith? How, what, the, what faith is? It could have been a long uh, and vast detail. But look at how beautifully the Holy Prophet ﷺ only mentioned three things. Uh, so, which... He said was that, number one, we should recognize Allah and one, we should know Allah. We should, we should ha- have a firm faith in Allah and the, uh, to have true cognizance, cognizance of Allah and to regard him as being ever present, then this would be the first stage of faith. So if someone has tried to gain faith and, then, and he's undertaken a journey, then the first stage of that journey would be this, that, um, the, uh, that um, he recognizes Allah, he gains, gains cognizance of his attributes, and he learns about the commandments of Allah. And from these, by knowing all of these, one and recognizes Allah, one tries to understand his uh, attributes and we know why those uh, attributes exist. So to know Allah uh, from, uh, the, from the heart, with the bot- from the bottom of the heart is, uh, is very important. Some people mention Allah in everything, but if you ask them what Allah really is, they do not really know. So this is wrong. One should recognize Allah from the bottom of the heart. So this is the first stage. And the other example of it is that one should mention this uh, from one's tongue. Upon, So it should not be that one never mentions Allah. So this should repeatedly uh, be on our tongue that as to what God is, how do I accept him and how do I try to attain his nearness and which um, are the attributes of Allah that I try to adopt. So to believe Allah and to know what his His um, attributes are. Um, so this is the second stage. And the third stage is to act in accordance with Allah's wishes. And the, so, and it has been, as has been mentioned before, the commandments of Allah are numerous. The Holy Quran mentions 700 of them. So all of the um, commandments that are mentioned, what if one learns them and one goes deep into their meanings, then and then 
uh, one act upon acts upon those uh, to its um, to its zenith in the best way possible then so these are the three uh, stages of faith the first is to to recognize allah the second is to accept him and the third is to act in accordance with allah's wishes so this is called the um, the not the cognizance of allah so these are the three ways and means of attaining this after this imam sahib is saying is the next tradition is uh, to, that he wishes to present is that the holy prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam at an occasion said that when uh, that is a mat mat insano qataw anhu amaluhu that when a person dies then what happens is that all of his actions come to an end so the time in the world is the time for action so if there is no action in this life then after death the um the time of action comes to an end so the lesson that we learn from this is that we should make use of every single moment of one's life because this is why this uh, world this uh, this life is called the place of action so this is the life of action this is the the, the place of action a place of performing deeds so in this world we should perform deeds and then the next life is the life of reward and earning and um and that is what where one would be recompensed for one's actions and all of these words uh, imam sahib is saying that um these the words of the holy prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam are such as gets embedded into one's heart that the holy prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam says that when a person dies then all of his actions come to an end it is this mention that uh, the actions are not worthy of his of a reward it means that uh, because of death he is not able to perform any more actions so his actions cannot increase but he, the reward uh, goes on but uh, the holy prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said that although people say this that when somebody dies their actions and deeds are terminated the holy prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said that illa min thalathati that there are three ways and means um uh, through which although one's personal actions come to an end but he will get he will still be rewarded for a, a certain good a good um, uh, deeds and this will be um, sent to him or this he, this will be received by him in three ways and these are that uh, which 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 continue one's um, one's reward which so one of them is sadaqat al jariyat that is a sadaqa that continues it's a very famous terminology sadaqa jariya it is often mentioned by people sadaqa is to, is a good deed and jariya means which is which continues so such a um such a a good deed that continues so the holy prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam says that one's personal actions that one performs with one's own hands and feet come to an end and he cannot do anything after death but there are three ways are such through which the actions continue and which is min sadaqatin jariya that if one does something good which the reward of which continues and it stays um in the world for example one one example is if someone uh, makes a mosque uh, or he uh, he gives the the entire money for the construction or uh, gives part of the money then this will become a source of reward for him uh, every time somebody prays there then or if somebody somewhere there is no water and someone um, pays to dig a well or pays to um to install a tap Uh, then and such places exist in the world such as in africa or in pakistan uh, they where there is no clean water available if there someone gets uh, installs a well or a, a a tap of clean water then this is another way of uh, continuing to receive the reward 
or if someone is um, a, a, um, a student and one provides him with books or someone is poor and one gives them uh, some provisions so if it's if it is a de a good deed which is not temporary it is something that has a permanence in it which continues to benefit people in this world and and the holy prophet sallallahu said that such knowledge which people uh, can um, benefit from so not only should one uh, learn something but then he should also teach other people and this is the way of uh, making the knowledge sadkai jariya or such a uh, good deed which uh, continues so if someone has uh, a knowledge he um, uh, he helps other people to learn something from through it then uh, or uh, if there is some books of uh, uh, previous people um some holy holy people or the hadith and the holy quran when you read these books it informs one of many numerous things numerous uh, beneficial things so to spread one's knowledge is also a sadqa jariya and then the holy prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said that such the third thing is to uh, gain reward after death is to leave behind a son a pious son who uh, uh, prays for the um, the parents who have passed away so if the um the son is has been brought up properly then when he does something good then the the good that that son does the reward of those will go to the the parents as well because they he has made use of the uh, the training that the the uh, the and the hard work that the parents put in to bring him up then if such a son prays for his uh, child as well prays for their parents as well then in the words rabbir hamhuma kama rabbiyani saghira as it says in the holy quran that oh allah have mercy on them like they helped me when i was little so this is also a form of sadqa jariya that a good deed that remains so through doing uh, good deeds through um not through bringing bringing up children uh, who pray for them then whenever they mention their parents then and they pray for them so if all of these things happen then the holy prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said that although with death one's um, actions come to an end but there are three ways in which this can continue in a, in a way and in a way they they are granted eternity so uh, one should if one uh, leaves does some sadqa jariya or one um uh, spread some knowledge which helps people or or leaves behind a son or a child which prays for them then Uh, then this would enable our uh, good good deeds to reach us even after death may allah enable us to um, incorporate this into our action and our life in this world may allah enable us to do so amen jazakallah